Weapon X is in the barn. Blow him to bits. Let's see if he can survive that. The helicopter chase, which is kind of unbelievable. After he's gotten his adamantium, he escapes, but Stryker tracks him down, and there becomes a chase. Second unit were there for eight, nine, ten weeks, shooting this massive sequence. That is a perfect example of combining as much physical effects as possible with your visual effects. And action! Where you can get a shot in camera by actually doing the gag, flying the helicopter in, it's often better than when you have to do it after the fact in a sort of 3D environment. For example, blowing up a barn, we actually did that. In some of the early meetings, everyone's saying, oh, are you going to do that as a miniature? And is that a digital effect? And I said, well, why don't we just build the barn full size and blow it up? So the helicopter is live, it flies in, you see the barn, but the actual rocket that travels from the helicopter to that point of impact is done later on as a CG rocket because we were not about to start firing rockets. One of the biggest explosions that I've ever seen in my life and being in the business for 20 years, I've seen a whole bunch of them, was when they blew that barn. We're always trying to be original. What, what can we do that we've never seen before? I mean, the, the dailies were coming back and it was just extraordinary. So we shot Hugh separately in a green screen, sort of coming out on a wheelie of the stunt rider that was shot after the explosion, composited it in, because you wouldn't want to be there when this thing blew up. For our second director, uh, Peter McDonald, we worked out with our previous guys sort of this whole chase sequence. I tried to set this really great chase against this incredible New Zealand scenery, which was in the Queenstown area, which is so beautiful. And then we just went for it. You have a helicopter shooting and a man on a motorcycle. Let's get him in a canopy of trees where the helicopter can't go. Three, two, one, action! We took a KTM, which is a dirt bike, and mocked it up to make it look like a Harley Davidson. It's a very difficult scene because you have a lot of elements going. You have a helicopter element, you have three Humvees chasing, you have a guy in a uh, mocked up Harley, you have explosions. We have the helicopter coming up over the hill. Suddenly, he has to turn around and comes back at the Hummer and Wolverine just slices the tires. That entire vehicle is created in CGI. And the shot that immediately follows is a live action stunt of a real Humvee flipping. We're going to come down the road about 80 kilometers per hour um, and I have a cannon which has a slug which will projectile out at about 750 psi and which will lift up the car and car will down the road. For the crash, for instance, that was actually a, a shell of a helicopter. It was slid down a, a giant cable. The helicopter here is secured to this arbor up here. It gets hauled up to the top of that crane way over there. We release it explosively and it gets towed down the line by a silver car over there. We cut it off the cables and it falls and smashes and tumbles along the road. We'll be rolling the cameras. I'll hear three things. I'll hear rolling one, rolling two and rolling three. Once I hear that, we then go to action. Yes. As that tail blows, you've come flying here and you've hit the dust right. at a low angle here. Boom. So he's shot as a separate plate where he then comped into that plate, jumping off the helicopter. And then we pick it up later with Hugh on the ground, getting up, and we've got the helicopter crashed and flames coming out of it that are more controlled. And so this, this shot ultimately, I just think he keeps walking to camera, grows from a cowboy to a mid-shot, 
But if you see, I have you foreground, then on screen, and the whole chopper background. Ooh. And he just keeps coming. Love. Setting the explosives. Everything back, moves back. Uh, it is his first use of the adamantium in that sequence, and he figures out what he can do with these adamantium blades that he could not do with a bone.